About a year ago, I did a video on some Putt-Putt games. And I've never been the same since. Actually, I have. I've since coped with how many males there are. The FCC never followed up on that death threat, but I do still get letters about whether I should cut my hair or not. No, seriously, this is a real letter I got. So there, I cut it. Are you happy now? I miss my hair. The Putt-Putt games were actually really well-made games, but they were definitely made for kids. I am not a kid. And with that said, let's play Putt-Putt! First up, Putt-Putt saves the zoo! Fill your tank, Put -put save the zoo. Get in step, save the zoo. Check your tires, Put -put save the zoo. And go get Pavan, save the zoo. We start off with our hero, Putt-Putt, telling the borderline racist Italian character, Mr. Baldini, that the Car Town Zoo opens today. In which he responds, I know, Putt-Putt, it's a bigger day! You know I'm Italian now because I put an uh at the end of almost all of my words! So Mr. B wants us to take some animal food over to the zoo, and naturally, like every normal kid has to do chores, Putt-Putt is thrilled. You may be thinking to yourself, being a butter gamer, what exactly do you do in Putt-Putt? Well, my esteemed viewer, you click on things, of course. And when you do, stuff like this happens. Hey, what are you doing? Oh yeah, you like that, don't you, you dirty little melon? 99% of the time, the things you click on are completely pointless. Sometimes they're even flat out scary. I mean, what is this? I'm almost 23 years old and this disturbs me on a deep emotional level that I can hardly explain. And oh no, not this again. Why are there so many bees? Why are there so many bees? And now that we've got all the basics of the gameplay taken care of, we can finally head to the zoo. Hey, it's a billboard for the Cartown Zoo. Well, how very observant of you, Mr. PP. <laughs> PP. That's funny. Uh-oh, now we're at the zoo and surprise musical number. We are the topiary creatures. We're very pleased to meet you. Signors and signoritas too. Uh, the animals we feature. You know would never eat you. We sing so very sweet to you. Welcome to the zoo. Zoo, zoo. Welcome to the zoo, zoo, zoo. zoo. So now that that's over, we go meet Outback Al, a completely incompetent zookeeper who says that despite the zoo being scheduled to open today, it's not ready to open today. Things are broken, and most importantly, a bunch of baby animals are missing. Somehow. Naturally, he trusts you, the random kid he just met, to go find all the baby animals while he fixes up the bridges, boats, and etc. So we better get started, but first, why not get some snacks? After all, they are free. Time to abuse the system. First I'm heading to Arctic Land where Putt-Putt finds a rope, and just like last time, he steals it without a second thought. We better be quiet, Pep, we might cause an avalanche. Oh, Putt-Putt, you have one job! Since we can't go into the snow area, let's head into the jungle. Hey look, some monkeys! Ooh, well, I'm not even gonna uh, try. I can do it. A Clydesdale in the Ridesvale Ooh. is as pretty as a dried snail! <laughs> Clydesdale! Uh... So yeah... Anyway, after a while, you start coming across some of the baby animals. There's an incompetent giraffe, an incompetent elephant, a really incompetent hippo. I'll make my pop proud. Whoa! Etc. and etc. Eventually, you save them all by clicking on things and doing some of this. Oh no, which way do I go? That way, I guess. Ah! That was pretty scary. I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh, it's a whirlpool! Okay, well, that's over now. Oh, but there's more trouble that lies ahead. Put Put has to catch up. Oh no, but how can he get onto the raft if he's sitting? What? I can't even believe what's going on right now. Oh, I'm back in the same place. Oh, and I can't forget to mention the best part of the game by far, the penguins. Ooh, yeah, putt putt, get down, yeah, get down, even putt, 
is getting down. His name is Pep, I think. But I, whatever. Keep going. And get down is the penguins. Penguins. Yeah. I really got nothing here. Let's let's just keep moving on. Let's move on to the next the next thing. Once you save all the baby animals, you find out back Al um fixing all the stuff he was supposed to be fixing and not just sitting there. And he awards you with the Junior Zookeeper Award. Wait. Junior award? More like the I should have your job award. I saved all the animals while he just sat there doing nothing. I even fixed parts of the zoo he was supposed to be fixing while doing it. This guy sucks at his job. Just look at this place. There's kids sliding around on the ice, driving past uncaged lions, and swinging over alligators with vines. And also, those monkeys. Jeez. You really need to get rid of those things. They are starting to freak me out. I think that's about enough of Saves the Zoo. Let's move right on to the next one. Putt-Putt has done many great things in his day. He's traveled through space and even time itself. But this time, Putt-Putt is in for a real adventure. This time, Putt-Putt enters a random race. Ready, Pep? Catch! Oh no, they changed the voice! They changed his voice! Oh wait, I don't care. Never mind. So it looks like a guy named Redline Rick has invited us to the car town race thingy. Let's head over there now. If you want to be a race car, you have to be able to grip the road. Don't give me that sass, Redline Rick. You invited me. I didn't even care about your stupid thing. <laughs> so it's the same as every other game. We gotta find some stuff before we can enter the race. Yada yada collectathon. But before we get into that stuff, I've been thinking. We sure seem to talk to a lot of adults in these games, and there has been at least a couple situations that confirms that cars do have car babies, so that leaves me wondering. Why are Putt-Putt's parents never mentioned? Is there some kind of sad, tragic backstory to Putt-Putt's life that explains why he's all alone? It was a bright summer day when two young car lovers went for a picnic on a mountain or something. The lady car, which I guess is this one, was pregnant and stuff. She told her husband, You're stupid, I never liked you, and I never wanted to go on your stupid picnic, you are dumb. But she didn't really mean it, she was just having a stressful day. But her husband Carr didn't know that, so he threw himself off the mountain and blew his head up and was dead. In deep, serious regret, the lady car shouted, "No!" But that didn't help at all, because he was already dead. Later, she gave birth to their son, Putt-Putt, but he reminded her of her dead husband and all the guilt she had because she said those things and then he died. So she threw him into the garbage, something something, and now he lives in Car Town, blissfully ignorant of his tragic past. That sounds good, let's go with that. So let's go get those things we needed. We need high-powered, high-octane gasoline, super speedy radio racing tires, and... A safety helmet and a triangular flag. Those ones aren't as cool. This bottle doesn't belong on the ground. It should be recycled. This message is brought to you by Peanut Butter Gamer. Don't litter or he'll kill you. Hey look, we found some high octane gasoline. Great. Well, that's one thing down. Why not take a break with a little mini game in the toy store? It's like pachinko, I guess, but I honestly don't really get it. I just kind of launch the balls and see what happens. <laughs> what did I do? What did I do? Oh no, I broke the game! I broke the game! Hey, it's Chuck, and it looks like he's in trouble. Eh, he'll be fine. Hey look, it's Outback Al again, and he's just as useless as ever. He has a new lemur, and he doesn't know what he eats, so big surprise, he wants me to find out. So we gotta go to the library and do some research on lemurs, and looky what I found. A book where you can make putt-putt say every letter of the alphabet. And I'm sure with my mature creative ability, I can have some fun with this. F. U. <laughs> Perfect. What was that I ran over? Uh, nothing, Putt-Putt. It was absolutely nothing. Just keep on driving and don't ask any questions. Oh, no, it's a fire. Better call? Oh, jeez, what's that number again? Oh, yeah, 911. Thanks, game. Okay, if you thought Smokey the fire truck was a little bit creepy in the last video I did, just check him out in this one. Thanks for calling 911, Putt-Putt. 
Seriously, just look at him. He's terrifying. Why is he making that face? I think I need to call 911 again, actually. All right, so we screwed around enough by this point. I say we fast forward a little bit and get straight to the good part. The rain. for helping me get all the things I needed. And out back out. Good luck with your new baby animal. I'll see you all next time. And don't forget, it's not if you win or lose. It's how you race around the track. Hooray! Hey everybody, you watched my video. Thanks. If you enjoyed it, you could click like, I guess. I mean, I don't really care, but you could do it. Let me know what you thought in the comments, or don't. It's really your choice, you know? If you want to see some more videos, you can check them out right here. If you want to see my gameplay channel, PPG Gameplay, you can click right here. And that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. Bye-bye!